Aloha Sagittarius, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your October 2024 general reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, please do uh, take what resonates and, you know, release the rest. Um, if it doesn't resonate for you, this is a general reading, so just keep that in mind. Um, before we get started, I want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, pressing that bell button. All those things are a free way to um, uh, engage with the channel and really help the channel grow and expand. So I really appreciate you. And then an announcement really quickly is um, from now until November 19th, which um, is when Pluto goes into Aquarius, I am offering all of my sessions and readings as a uh, donation only. Uh, so that way you can donate. Typically, it's two twenty-five for an hour to hour and a half um, session coaching session with me. Um, but because there's such change and transformation energy right now, I really want to make it available to anyone who's needing a little bit of help and guidance. And so, um, so this is pay what you can. And those who are blessed with abundance, you're welcome to um, pay for a reading for uh, someone else and pay it forward. So lots of different ways that you can um, can do that. So what you'll do is email me. The email is in the description box below of how to get to sessions. And that email is pueoorganics at uh, gmail.com. And it, it'll show you, um, there's a link in the description box below. Okay, let's get to it, Sagittarius. Enough of the announcements, but with, they're a necessary, a necessary um, thing, you know? So let's get it. Let's get, let's go. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to do the Beyond Lemuria cards, the Energy Oracle cards, and um, some tarot. So simple and easy read this time round for October. So we got Balanced Forces <clears throat> as your overall energy card. I really love that. We're going to get three different um, <clears throat> cards. Ooh. And then the, okay. So Sag, we have balanced forces. So things are balancing out in your life, okay? Uh, cold knot, you know, left, right, up, down, all the, all the balancing that's needing to occur. Uh, but look, you have, um, you have the energy here that's balancing out in such a way that you do have help from the spiritual realms, okay? Underneath is the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, okay? Um, excuse me. Ooh. Okay. There's a little indigestion that came up with that, so some of you may have been dealing with some indigestion. Um, and... You know, the third chakra is the solar plexus. Solar plexus is your seat of power in the world. And what it relates to is the emotional system. And so part of what's balancing is your emotional balance. We have the thinking man. So there may be a male figure um, in your life. It's likely a, a gendered male. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It could be a very masculine um, gendered female. But um, there's a masculine that's in your life that is um, a thinking man, thinking man would be often, uh, could be Aquarius, Libra, or um, Gemini, um, air sign type of energy here. Uh, but we also have broken heart in the world. Okay, so coming into this um, October, Sagittarius, you guys might have been dealing with a broken heart, and that's part of what is balancing out. There is a person, because this feels like a different person than what or whom broke your heart, right? So there's a person coming in that's going to help you change. The world says uh, it's the biggest card of change in the tarot deck, and, and these decks as well says you're moving into a whole new world. You're moving into a whole new aspect of yourself, of your energies, and um, and so that is, that is, there's someone coming to help, okay? So what I keep hearing, Sagittarius, is you're not in this alone. And so there's someone coming to help you move through that broken heart. So they just showed me the example of one of my best friends. He showed up right around the time that uh, my kahuna, my, my dear uncle that I love so much, graduated on into spirit. Okay, And I was devastated with grief. 
And um, I needed that help. And he showed up to be that for and with me and walked me through my grief. And um, uh, so that I could come out on the other side of it, so that I could balance that and find the find the blessing in the grief and become a whole new person. Because with the balanced forces, you notice you have fire, water, air, and earth, right? So that fire is going to burn out anything that uh, no longer serves you. So you do become a new person. And Sagittarius coming into this, um, coming into this month, these are the energies that are present. And it's interesting because my dog just got very excited and very playful <clears throat> and kind of amped up. And I've already done two other reads and she's just been laying here. So this energy is in your, uh, in your energy right now. Okay. So let's get the tarot, go a little deeper, but um, we are at a change process collectively. So the beginning of October, we have October 2nd, we have the, um, the last eclipse of the fall season. <clears throat> so we've had the previous eclipse. We've had the equinox, and then now we have the eclipse on October 2nd, the um, solar eclipse. And so that finishes out the season. This energy lasts for about six months. But because of how the other astrological factors are going right now, we're closing out a 16-year cycle. We're opening a new 16-year cycle of Pluto. Uh, there's a lot of change and, and rebirth energies going on. And so... Uh, how you navigate that at this time is going to be in a balanced way and you're going to have someone come that helps you. Okay. That's, that's super clear. Uh, coming into this, we have <clears throat> the emperor strength in the wheel. Okay. Again, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like um, this is the person that's coming in really straight off in October. You may already know them. They may already be a good friend. Um, but this is someone that's really coming in that's going to help uh, strengthen you, and they have the strength. We have Aries and Leo here. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel is turning. We have the wheel in the world. You have some of the biggest change cards, major arcanas. This says a change is happening. Whether you participate nicely or not, the change is happening. And so, Sag, be prepared for that change. Okay, you are going to have someone um, who's there to help. The emperor is the, he's come out in all the readings so far. I've only done two others. Um, he is the balance of all four kings. Okay, so... This is a balanced inner divine masculine. It does not have to be a, a male, uh, but there is really strong masculine energy here that's coming in to assist you. That's coming in to help you build your strength and sovereignty, to help you become fortunate. This could look like a mentor. This could look like a really good friend. This could look like a financial advisor. This could look like a lot of different things. Uh, it does feel more platonic because it's like I feel like you may have just gotten out of a relationship if you are looking at these for love it is a general reading this feels more platonic this feels like how do I get my life in order and get Sagittarius in how do I be my best self after feeling like I've had a bit of a loss okay uh, mid-month you've got the four of pentacles eight of swords and knight of swords uh, this feels like a quick change. Some of you, um, the the Four of Pentacles, she's leaving her village there. There's a separation here in her, her rune there. The separation has to do with um, inheritance. In order to get what you want in the world, you have to separate from um, that which is holding you back. From your previous version of yourself. It's like we're going to Sagittarius 5.0 from Sagittarius 2.0. So you're making a jump. Uh, for many of you, you may be moving and abruptly. Okay. So there's this um, Knight of Swords. It's very quick energy. There's information coming in that's going to help you make your decision, but you're unsure of it. All right. It's like, but these are self-imposed worries and limitations. Everything's going to be... Um, 
All right, they're giving me uh, Bob Marley's, uh, um, you know, um, every little thing is going to be all right. Okay, so, so don't worry <laughs> about a thing. I do not own the rights to that song. Um, but here we go with that. So, so you'll have a propensity to worry, but they're saying this quick change is actually for your benefit. All right, towards the end of... October, we have the Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and Eight of Wands. Again, more quick communication energy. But Two of Wands, look, she's looking and trying to figure out on the globe where she's going. Page of Pentacles is an amazing page of communication, um, but it's the page of a student, all right? This is having the student's mind. This is having, uh, how are you going to invest yourself? Uh, so some of you may be actually moving to go to some sort of schooling for yourself, there's an opportunity that presents itself that balances things out. But what I'm saying with this is there's a lot of quick change. And for many of you, it does have to do with physically moving house. I mean, I'm, I'm reading for a lot of different people, but they're showing me you getting out of some sort of toxic situation or embarking on a new adventure and actually moving house. But it happens so quickly. The opportunity happens so quickly that you may be a little bit nervous and a little bit... Um, unsure and it might come from something that you feel like you lost with the broken heart card um but that being said you have a network even so you are not alone three of pentacles says we all work together and then uh many hands make slight work you use the teamwork to get everything done and um and it is balancing we have the temperance look at temperance and look at the match of how we've got these angel wings here and the balancing and the color match here. Okay. So <clears throat> temperance, temperance would indicate, and I believe that's your card is a temperance. I believe is Sagittarius. It would indicate um, not only patience, but balance. And again, another major arcana. So it's saying that this is, um, this is spirit led. Um, this is your angels guides. God, source, universe, whatever you call that, which is the energy that pushes us on into our destiny, that is what's pushing you right now. And it's helping you to balance, okay, sun and moon here. I love that these cards like match, all right, balanced forces, both sides, masculine, feminine, inside yourself, balanced. And then the card under that is the four of swords. You will have rest. You will um, return to... We have fertility here, which means that you will return to fertile ideas. You will return to inspiration. You will return to that. But it's going to take um, uh, uh, resting. And actually, as you move through this transition, you're going to have the space on the other side of this to actually breathe and rest, relax, replenish yourself, Sagittarius. I feel like you've been go, 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 trying to fix things trying to make, um, for some of you, a toxic situation work. And now it's like, great, keep it moving. You can do this and, and, and move forward. Okay. So really, really grateful, you guys. Um, I feel like this is amazing change for you. Um, practically speaking, um, talk in with your guides, angels, God's horse universe, journal that talk it out, you know, um, however works best for you, um, and allow, allow people to help you. Okay. Cause though you are able to do things yourself, this particular transition does require teamwork and it's there for you and it's available and, um, spirits wanting to bless you. They're wanting to balance out this energy that's been really unbalanced for quite some time. Okay, so um, let people help you. It's going to be, excuse me, it's going to be a huge blessing. Again, I had that indigestion. So it's like, um, you're not sure of that because you're scared someone might take your power. Um, but remember, you're in charge of your power. You're in charge of what you react to versus respond to. We want to move towards responding to things out of our own authority and um, strategy rather than um, just reacting to all that's around. And so that's part of this shift. And again, you do have a really amazing 
figure coming that's going to be a mentor, a teacher, a trainer, um, someone who walks with you through this process um, and that grows you. Okay, so you do have a team, um, even if you can't see it yet, you might feel completely alone, but that is um, feelings and circumstance talking. It's not actually what's really happening. So they're saying, take a breath and look around in your reality and go, okay, is my life physically in danger? You know, and if the answer is no, um, you're safe to move forward. Everything else just means you're uncomfortable. It doesn't mean... Um, it doesn't mean that you can't get through it. Okay. So sending you guys lots of love. I'm excited about this transformation for you, but it does feel like October does have some energies that I'm uh, noticing a theme of being pretty uncomfortable up front, And then, and then things working out towards the end of the month, but each, each one so far has had a different flavor. So do watch your, um, your moon and rising signs too, to get a full picture of how the month's going to go for you. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. And until next time, aloha.